Hi everybody, welcome to my Richard Jewell movie review. Richard Jewell is directed by Clint Eastwood, who is one of my favorite filmmakers. I really love everything. I, I, it, it looks like I've turned out to be more of a Clint Eastwood fan of him directing um, than, than... I'm not that big a fan of like the Dirty Harry movies or his old country stuff. I've, I've, I've liked his career as a director. I liked his last movie, that The Mule. I like this one. I, I like everything he directs. I like his style. Um, this movie is about the uh, 1996 Atlanta Olympic bombings and the security guard who found the bomb and how he got blamed afterwards. And he was destroyed in the media. And the sad thing is that this man didn't do it, but he was never publicly exonerated. And this is the same type of fake news bullcrap that goes on now. Is they'll write a retraction. <laughs> They, they spent all these hours and people accept it as truth and then they'll make a mistake. They'll print a little tiny retraction, put it out, and no one ever sees it. And these people go on with that as being the truth. Now, I don't remember really him getting blamed. I was about 16 when this happened. Um, but I, I don't know that he was ever exonerated. I didn't know that. I should know that. I feel like the public should know that he was exonerated. Um, but the media never came out and did all that they just kind of moved on with the next story to get ratings and to sell papers sam rockwell is also in this sam rockwell is an incredible actor he is fantastic and everything that he does he is one of my favorite actors he's always good clint eastwood is good and and, and this stars uh paul walter hauser oh uh the the, the um the other person that I think was really a standout who's going to get... I think Paul Walter Hauser deserves an Oscar nomination, and so does Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates is incredible in this. She plays Bobby Jewell, his mom, and um, their whole relationship is very, very sweet and very adorable. Um, I loved it. I thought she did a good job. Sam Rockwell plays his attorney. Um, Olivia Wilde is in this. And I never get over how beautiful Olivia Wilde is. She's, she's got this very unique look. Um... Man, she's... Wow. Uh, John Hamm is in this playing a very, very douchey, underhanded FBI agent. And one thing I don't like about certain aspects of law enforcement is I feel like sometimes all they want to do is put somebody away. They don't even care if the person is guilty. It's like they make up their mind that a certain person is guilty. And then they'll do anything to try and just... It's not even bring them to justice. It's, it's just to convict somebody. To put the public at ease. And I, 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 if I were a law enforcement agent, I wouldn't want to put anyone, convict just somebody. I'd want to convict the correct person. And it was clear that these people had nothing on this guy. Now, Paul Walter Hauser, he's one of those actors. He was also in I, Tonya and Black Klansman. And uh, he's also the big guy in uh, Cobra Kai, a um, TV show. Um, I'm beginning to with, with this I, I did recognize him from um, from Cobra Kai um, I, I forgot that he was in I, Tanya, and I forgot that he was in Black Klansman because he plays kind of a comical character in um, in Cobra Kai um, I was I was more surprised because I, with his performance in this movie because this is a highly dramatic role I was and it's so different I'm, I'm so happy that this guy has got major acting chops. He's going to have a stellar career, and I hope he finds a lot of work. He's going to win an Oscar one day, in my opinion. Um, those two characters, he plays kind of like a buffoon, right, in Cobra Kai? But in this, he's... he's um, this guy's got major, major acting chops. I, I'm going to be interested to follow his career. I highly recommend going to see this movie. Um, and, um, you know, at the time, also, I think because 9-11 hadn't happened when this bombing happened. Oklahoma hit, was only, I think, about two years since the Oklahoma City bombing. And then and then this happened. Um, they did catch the real bomber in 2001 or 2002, something like that. Um, but it, it wasn't, I don't know, I feel like it would have been a bigger story if it happened in 2006 versus 1996. Um, but uh, I highly recommend going to go see this movie. It's it's out now. Um, I don't think it'll get Best Picture, but I I want to see this guy get an Oscar nod. He's got major chops, and he's not your typical you know a Ryan Gosling type of actor. Not to say that he's you know ugly or anything, but he 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 plays these kind of homely sort of guys. Um, 
but he plays it so well and his, his character is so endearing in this movie um again this is a movie i just i love clint eastwood man i love the stuff he directs i love what he does um i think maybe this movie might also get a screenplay nomination um Sam Rockwell may may get a nomination. All and Kathy Bates. Everyone was so good in this movie. But I think this is gonna be Paul Paul Walter Hauser's uh, breakout role. Um, I, I look forward to watching his career. And um, yeah, I, I um, go see this movie. I want it to make billion dollars. Okay? Leave your comments below. Did you see this movie? Um, did you not? What did you think? Like and subscribe. Hit the bell, and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.